What's good YouTube? In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to disable camera and microphone settings in Safari on your iPhone. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So internet and smartphone security and permissions has really come a long way in the past few years. And the permissions that you have by default on your iPhone are something that are relevant and should be something you keep track of. One of the major permissions that comes up quite often in on your iPhone are the microphone and camera access that Safari has access to. Up until a few years ago, this was by default turned on on Safari on your iPhones. And thankfully, there's been a change over the past few years for the iPhone to request permission from the user each and every time that the camera and or microphone is requested. So the first step that you want to do to enable this, the camera and microphone access is to go into your settings app. From your settings app, you want to scroll down until you see Safari. And then from there, you have the options available for you on your iPhone for Safari. What you want to do from here is you want to scroll down and then you'll see that there's a separate settings for websites for things like page zoom, request desktop website, reader, and what we're looking for, camera and microphone. If you want to change the permissions for the camera, what you want to do is head into camera. And as you can see by default, it's set to ask, which prompts you with a push notification every time a website is requesting access to your camera. If you want to deny this altogether, you can click on deny. And if you want to allow this altogether, you can also click on allow. I like to keep it on ask just so I can keep track of which websites are currently requesting access to my camera. Similarly, you can do this for the microphone as well. And if you go back to the Safari menu and head into microphone, you'll see that you have access to the exact same options, ask, deny, and allow as well. I also like to keep my microphone on ask as there's a lot of websites that do require some kind of audio input. And I like to be prompted of this with a push notification. So there you have it, everyone. Just a quick video on how you can be a little bit more diligent with your permissions on your iPhone. And as internet security does progress further, there's no doubt going to be further safeguards and measures taken by Apple to make sure that you have the permissions you need and want on your iPhone. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.